John Donato Torrio, January 20, 1882, April 16, 1957, was an Italian-born American mobster who helped build the Chicago outfit in the 1920s later inherited by his protege Al Capone. Torrio proposed a national crime syndicate in the 1930s and later became an advisor to Lucky Luciano and his Luciano crime family. Torrio had several nicknames, primarily the Fox for his cunning and finesse. The U.S. Treasury official Elmer Irie considered him the biggest gangster in America and wrote, he was the smartest and, I dare say, the best of all the hoodlums. Best referring to talent, not morals. Virgil W. Peterson of the Chicago Crime Commission stated that his talents as an organizational genius were widely respected by the major gang bosses in the New York City area. Crime journalist Herbert Asbury affirmed, as an organizer and administrator of underworld affairs, Johnny Torrio was unsurpassed in the annals of American crime, he was probably the nearest thing to a real mastermind that this country has yet produced. When Prohibition went into effect in 1920, Torrio pushed for the gang to enter into bootlegging, but Colosimo stubbornly refused. In March 1920, Colosimo secured an uncontested divorce from Moresco. A month later, he and Dale Winter eloped to West Baden Springs, Indiana. Upon their return, he bought a home on the South Side. On May 11, 1920, Torrio called and told Colosimo that a shipment was about to arrive at his restaurant. Colosimo drove there to await it, but instead, he was shot in an ambush and killed. Frankie Yale had allegedly traveled from New York to Chicago and personally killed longtime gang boss Colosimo at the behest of Chicago outfit friends Torrio and Capone. Although suspected by Chicago police, Yale was never officially charged. Colosimo was allegedly murdered because he stood in the way of his gang making bootlegging profits, having gone soft after his marriage with Winter. Al Capone has also been suggested as the gunman. Colosimo's ex-wife, unhappy with the financial arrangements of the divorce, is also theorized to have arranged the murder. In January 1925, Capone was ambushed, leaving him shaken but unhurt. Twelve days later, on January 24, Torrio and his wife Anna were ambushed outside their home by Weiss, Drucci, and Moran. Torrio was shot several times and nearly killed. After recovering, he effectively resigned, handed control of the gang to Capone, and fled to New York. In late 1925, Torrio moved to Italy with his wife and mother, where he no longer dealt directly in mob business. He gave total control of the outfit to Capone and said, It's all yours, L. Me? I'm quitting. It's Europe for me. Torrio left a criminal empire which grossed about $70 million a year, $1,169,184,000 in 2022, from bootleg liquor, gambling and prostitution.